international yeah. happening. We are international. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is the beginning of a new vlog. We just got to the airport. Our flight is in about three hours. We're a little early, but we are headed to Portugal. We're super excited. I have another time, okay? So ignore this. Um, but it's so hot, so I just have it around my waist. Hey girl, you ready to be international? Period. All right, y'all. So I'll see y'all after security and all that. What's up, y'all? <laughs> we are at our gate, and we, our flight is boarding in. I just stop lying, like I can't see that far. 19 minutes. So, yeah. We are using that time to charge our devices and stuff. And we should be boarding soon. That's nice. We are super excited. My mom is on a different flight, so she will be leaving in three more hours. Wait, it's five. Her flight is at 9:45, so ours is at six. So we will meet her tomorrow in Portugal. Um, we are stopping in London first. It should be a short layover, like two hours, and then off to Portugal after that. So we will check in along the way. Say hey, ladies. It was long. <laughs> Mr. Vlog again. The vlog is happening. We are out here. Before we depart, here are some important safety instructions. This day has been so chaotic and eventful. Like, I don't even know where to begin to update y'all. I couldn't make the time to pick up the camera in the midst of the chaos that was going on until now. So, right now, it is, I don't know if you guys can see, it is 7.17 a.m. in New York, but we are in London and it is 12.17 p.m. So, it's afternoon here. So we arrived to London at 6 this morning and our layover was supposed to be for two hours for us to get to the next flight to head to Portugal. So for whatever reason, I guess it's the European thing that the liquids that you bring, even if they are, you know, in the travel sizes, they cannot be in your let's say a travel pouch that you have right they have to be in a ziploc bag that they provide you at tsa and if your liquids are like let's say you have a hundred of them and they don't fit in the little bag that they give you then that will not be allowed so basically everybody that's going through security has to open their luggages and remove everything that's li liquid so basically that means lotion hand sanitizer everything and all of that has to fit within those little bags so that alone delays everything and we arrived at terminal 5 and our next flight was at terminal 2 in order to get to terminal 2 you have to go up and down multiple escalators take a bus take a train like it's a journey we even got on a highway like with all within the airport to go from one terminal to the next so <laughs> all of that was happening for the entire two hours and by the time we made it to the gate at 7.50 for the flight that was leaving at 8.05 they told us oops sorry too late gates already closed so now imagine it's 10 of us that are trying to figure out how we're supposed to reschedule this flight and figure out what's next so the airline for Portugal that we were connecting to basically told us at the gate that they're not able to help us and that we needed to leave Terminal 2 where we were at and get back on the bus in order to get to Terminal 3 where American Airlines is because they're the one who booked our connecting flights. Man, the struggle. So we get to American Airlines and this lady is screaming at us and she's telling us that her colleagues were waiting on us at, the, at Terminal 5 where we got off the original flight and that it's our fault that we missed the flight. We were so confused because we like, who was waiting on us? Like we actually waited outside of the gate because we had multiple people with us that were in different seats. So after the first group got out, we waited for the rest of the girls to come out. 
there was no one waiting on us so anyway to make a long story short we found another help helpful gentleman who actually was able to get us on a new flight and that next flight doesn't leave until 7 50 p.m tonight so like, we're gonna basically end up spending over 12 hours at the airport because it's just too risky to get out and try to come back in into security because we were told that it will take an hour and a half to get into central london and there is apparently protests and things going on because of the strike with the transportation workers so that would add easily add another two hours to our commute so add that to the hour and a half that it takes right and then you also need to be at the airport three hours before your next flight <laughs> i was like i don't want to risk it at first i was like maybe this is a blessing you know in disguise we can actually step out and explore london but i don't think that was meant to happen because there is no way that we're gonna risk getting out of this airport and have to go through security again. Like for as much as I've been traveling, I don't think I've ever experienced such chaotic systems. I've heard other people complain about London's airport. I never understood why until I ended up here myself. So if you have options when it comes to getting a connecting flight and London is one of them, choose whatever the other one is because this is not it it was unnecessarily chaotic and for the most part like everybody that we ran into was so rude and we're like why are you guys all condescending there were so many people that missed their flights and i'm like why is that like a recurring theme because clearly there's something in the process that you guys have going on that's just not working so anyway it is what it is we made the most of it we are all of my girls are sitting upstairs at the like waiting area. We found, you know, different places to eat and everybody's just like trying to catch a nap right now. So I am quite tired myself, but I don't know. I don't feel like sleeping. <laughs> I just want to get to my destination and take a shower. You know, you kind of feel icky after traveling for so long, but it is what it is. We'll make the most of it. I never got to really show you guys my outfit. It is this super bright matching set that you guys would have seen in my Zara haul that I posted uh, yesterday, which was June 26th. I've gotten so many compliments on it at the airport, so I guess looking like a highlighter will get you noticed after all. Well, go figure. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to give you guys like a quick update. So I guess we won't get into Portugal until 10.30 p.m. So that's basically time to just take a shower and, you know, just go to bed. And tomorrow's another day, so we will figure it out then. I have another friend who had a layover in New Jersey, and that didn't turn out well for her either. There were issues with the plane, and her flight got canceled altogether. So she is scheduled to leave tonight on another flight at 9.30. So she should be getting to Portugal tomorrow, which is Tuesday, the 28th. It's just, again, it's been very eventful. Like we've never had to deal with this. Like we've even been, we've had short layovers in Dubai. Like when we were going to Thailand, we had a two hour layover in Dubai and it was not this chaotic. And funny enough, my mother is on a different flight and she is at Terminal 5 where she got off the plane and her next flight is also at Terminal 5. So in that case, you know, she really didn't have to go through any other chaos that we went through. So yeah, just having to go through security all over again, just is no fun. So anyway, that's that for now. I will fill you guys in, maybe when we get to Portugal. Deuces. Guys, I promise, we literally couldn't make any other stuff up. This is like the worst movie that we've ever been in. Like, I, I just don't understand. It's 2.30 in the morning in Portugal. 
at the gate in London, they took all of our carry-ons, basically telling us that they needed to um, take them and put them under the plane because there was no more room. They only did that to the group of 10 black girls. Everybody else didn't take their carry-ons. Now we get there, they tell us only 13 bags made it from London to Portugal. So now everybody's here without a carry-on, without a luggage. And we're supposed to take a flight to Paris from here. So we just have to pray and hope in one or two days, whenever they feel like it, that our luggages will arrive to us. They handed us these papers that we have to like go online and give our information. Like you literally can't make any other stuff up. I'm so over it. We finally made it to our hotel and I was just so over the day and everything that had happened. We simply took a shower, although we literally had no clothes to wear, so we ended up sleeping in the robes that the hotel provided. We just had to make the most of the situation. The next morning we woke up, grabbed breakfast, and we ended up making our way back to the airport so that we could file a claim to ensure that they knew what addresses we were going to be at so that they could transfer our bags either to Portugal, France, or Morocco. So you, you put for all of us? Yes. All, of the all the numbers you get. Did you update um, Paris for June 2nd? Yes. yes. And then um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I said you lied. You lied. I know. Hey y'all. So it is currently 6 p.m. here in Portugal. We are trying to navigate our frustration. But still trying to keep a positive attitude well the girls are trying i have nothing positive in me but that's besides the point so as you can tell there's like not much vlog footage because what's there to show okay we had a 6 a.m flight as i updated you guys yesterday that we missed well we arrived at 6 a.m our flight was at 8 we missed the 8 a.m flight that 8 a.m flight was rescheduled to an 8 p.m flight that 8 p.m flight was delayed and we left way later i believe 10 30 when we finally left um the uk we arrived in portugal well before we even left they took all of our carry-ons at the at the at the entrance of the plane they didn't take anybody else's i'm trying to summarize everything to make it quick so we had to head to our hotel last night without any carry-on without any luggage we had to basically wash you know our undergarments and we use the same ones today i'm the only one with new clothes because i had something in my handbag so no one has carry-ons no one has their actual luggage the problem is we are leaving portugal to head to paris in two days there is no guarantee that our luggages will arrive in portugal in time before our flight so today which is day two in portugal we ended up having to return to the airport to provide them the addresses of where we're going to be in Paris and also in Marrakesh because we were <laughs> we had three different destinations for this particular trip so with that said it is 6 p.m. and we've lost day one because we spent all day in London at the airport yesterday and today's day two we woke up late because of course we were exhausted and we drove we just grabbed something to eat and we just took a taxi to head to the airport so the line was long we spent two and a half hours online trying to get this information sorted out so the only thing we were able to do is basically provide them the addresses to where we're going to be and we talked to other people that were also on our flight and they're equally as frustrated because there is no reason for something like this to happen it would make a difference if let's say you had a, a, a flight full of people and then one or two luggages are missing because of course human error but when we're talking about an entire plane full of people like i don't understand how this even happens and we lent i should have gotten a clip of the airport last night at baggage claim there were hundreds of luggages just left unattended because i'm guessing those people are also missing their luggages but they have no idea where they actually at so as of right now they're telling us that our, our luggages are still in london we have no idea if that's actually accurate because like i said there are hundreds of bags that are here at the portugal baggage claim so i don't know 
I guess the, the only thing left to do now is for us to try to go to the mall or somewhere and pick up some new clothes and things to wear. But even then, we can't go overboard because if we buy a bunch of stuff, we won't have any luggage to put them in. So I don't know. I guess we'll end up buying a new handbag, you know, <laughs> to be able to survive. We have no skincare products, <laughs> you know, nothing like nothing. This is not how this trip was supposed to go. It's so unfortunate and usually I'm the encourager and telling everybody it's gonna be okay. I don't even see how it's gonna be okay, but I guess it could be worse, right? I don't know. So here we are. The girls are keeping a positive attitude, thankfully. So we are going shopping, yay. This is live footage of me looking sad in H&M in Portugal because I was mad that our luggages didn't make it on our flight. I ended up getting these pink shorts and also these blue ones that I wore the next day. I also got these denim shorts that I have not worn yet. This is the view from our hotel. I love how beautiful the sunset was. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to enjoy the patio, but maybe next time. We ended up stepping out that night and checked out the area. We went to dinner and have fun and took pictures. And then we came back to our hotel and called it a night. What had happened was we met some Americans. Um, from Florida. She trying to set me up with some dude that got a grill. Does he no, have a grill? <laughs> we're not, I am not setting you up. But, but he has the hookup to go to a rooftop bar. Like we're living it up. Like what the heck? Hey, you know? YOLO. YOLO. Do the girls still say YOLO? <laughs> uh, the, hey, I don't know. I'm, I'm 30 something. Uh, but YOLO. We just came from dinner at Old Portuguese. Yes, it, it was, was oh my gosh everything. i think i might include all the clips from that i was sharing on my stories i rated everything so most of them from my plate i'm like I'm, hey I'm very... we tried all the things yeah and they were yeah. pretty good yeah so far the food is given what it's supposed to give in yes. portuguese so, i mean in portugal <laughs> so yes giving. right now we're just walking back to our hotel yes and, and taking this is the rest beans. of the girls the squad <laughs> squad goals you know yeah. it's 13 of us yeah, oh we, we forgot to tell them about how manu we one of our eat. friends ended up in a different hotel it was what was it like two three oh shoot we're in the middle of the street guys there's a car behind us everybody <laughs> get out the street so we used trip masters to book our to book um the trip and we had a booking number that we shared with everybody else so that they could book the same stuff that we booked so i'm guessing our hotel is called hotel dociado so i don't know how they made the mistake probably probably the rep that was doing it just tapped chiado and then i don't know so they ended up booking our friends on chiado 44 or something like that so it's another hotel that's four minutes away and of course we were finding this out when we we're getting at the hotel and it was like what three or four o'clock in the morning yeah it was ridiculous so yeah Here it is are. what it is so many but, weird things happen on this trip but, but we're going to make it the best because we are together we are ready to have fun we are ready to um i don't know enjoy and you know eat all the things see all the things party all the things because what she said because when we get back to the U.S., we, we, we got to go to work. Bodies. We're, we're just like, yeah. So here, we're yellowing. We're going to be outside. We're going to be outside. We're Every trying. Day. We're Every trying. Day. Look at the time. Usually, at this right. time, we would be in bed. Oh, yeah. We should tell them what time it is. It is 12.45 a.m. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we we're just coming bed. from dinner. <laughs> we would be in bed. That's, okay. that's how, what we would do. So, right. that's Ciao. it. Toodles. Zara sale has started, and one thing about us, we're gonna find Zara. Saldos. So tomorrow. Saldos. Sales. Sales. <laughs> Hashtag discounts. <laughs> this is the shopping center that's right next to our hotel. Our hotel is right over here. And when we enter the elevator here, the lobby is the fourth floor. That's because you can see these hills. Everything is on a hill. And the floor looks like this. So when you're coming to Portugal, 
wear shoes that are not slippery. The water bottle at our hotel is so fancy. The girls thought it was vodka. <laughs> It is so late, but I am thirsty, so I'm about to have a drink. Water. But it's from that fancy bottle, so it looks like I'm doing something fancy when I'm not. Cheers. I have no skincare products, so I have not been wearing any makeup. I only put eyebrows on, and that's it. So, I got this hair thing from my mom's friend. My mom gave me her pajamas. Somehow they fit. I don't know, but we're making it work. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to do some actual proper vlogging. I've had time to digest the situation and I think I'm over I'm over it. I spent entirely too much money to be here and not enjoy my time. So tomorrow we are going on a tour. We're do going to do a little bit of shopping and then we have another wine tour in the evening. So I'm going to take my camera with me and actually vlog all the things. So you guys will should see that footage. But right now it's 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm out. Deuces. Good morning, good morning. Are we in focus? I think we are. It is Wednesday, June 29th, and we are determined to have a great day today. Yes. We are having breakfast. This is part of our crew. Say hey, Danielle. <laughs> That's my mommy over there. Wait, over here. <laughs> and I am with my girl Gracie. All the way from Florida. 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 Yes. So anyway, we are grabbing breakfast and then we have a couple of tours today scheduled. So we are looking forward to it. Let me show you guys what we're having. This is the pastry that's like a national treasure over here. Everybody loves it. It actually is quite delicious. Let's see what you have, Mom. Everything looks and delicious. And I'm going to enjoy it. Bon Good appetit. Good morning from Portugal. Hi, Mommy. Say hey, Gracie. We are going on a tour, so this is our last full day here. We're trying to make the most of it. We went shopping yesterday, got some clothes because our entire luggage and carry-on are in London somewhere. So, but we're tired of talking about that. So we are going to go on this tour and have some fun. Toodles. We ended up taking the phone number of one of the cab drivers from the previous day who we coordinated with to take us to Fatima the next day. It was a one and a half hour drive from Lisbon and it is basically a place of worship. There are multiple sanctuaries there and the church was actually built on the site where three small children saw the apparition of the Virgin Mary and that's kind of the idea behind it. So once we arrived, there was mass going on and there are a lot of different sanctuaries, as I mentioned, for you to pray. And, you know, there are people that are on their knees doing pilgrimages. It's a it's a very interesting place. And I've even heard people say that even if you are not a Christian or even if you're not Catholic, this is still an interesting place to visit. So we highly recommend it. De Dios te quita el pecado del mundo, dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor,
So I'm having a little solo time. We finished our tour this morning. So glad the sun came out. Um, it is about 3.20 and we have another tour scheduled for 4 o'clock. So right now, I am rushing to Zara to grab some stuff. The sale is going on and since we have no clothes, I have to get some new outfits to go to Paris tomorrow. So I will see what I can grab in about, I don't know, less than 30 minutes. So hopefully the lines are not too long. Toodles. and make it in time so I got a whole bag of clothes now I gotta find a way to make all that stuff fit into the handbag that I have but hopefully we can fit the rest of them in my mom's luggage so now I am running back to my hotel to thankfully it's right across the street from Zara so I'm gonna go put all that stuff in my room and then come back out for a tour that we're 15 minutes late for. It would be better if when we come back, it's on that side. It's too close to it. Okay, hello to Mr. President. This is the palace, guys. And it's pink. <laughs> and it's pink. We went to this place, which is apparently the best in Portugal. It's the place cheese. I don't know how to say it. The Belém. Anyway, this thing is so good. Here's what it looks like. It's really crispy on the outside, and it has this amazing thing on the inside. It's so good. I don't even like sweets, but I've been eating these things. But this particular one, it's bigger than the rest that we've had. And it's better. You can put cinnamon and powdered sugar on top. Excellent. We had such a blast at the tower. We got pineapple drinks, pina coladas. The view was glorious. The weather is cooperating. The view's better this way. Good times. Good times. Cheers. <laughs> The guide was explaining what this was all about, but so, her uh, English was not, I don't colonizers. know. When the colonizers discovered Brazil, this is where the journey started. Oh, that's what she was trying to tell me. I just said, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what she said. The colonizers. The architecture is quite beautiful.
Who does this girl think she is? <laughs> we had a great time on the tour, but it was time to get back so we could do some last minute shopping and everyone went their separate ways as they needed to go to different stores. So yeah. Getting lost together. Yep. Streets of Portugal. Pretty much. So last night, we're making the most of it. Amen. We went shopping. Yes. Got some sneakers. Yes. She got pastries. That's all she eats. Pastries. Hey, she stops pastries. in every store. Gets pastries and then gets stuff for her dog. Stop judging. I just, I can't. So me, I just get close. And also food. We haven't eaten all day. These Not people with me, we they are breakfast. never hungry. They, what time was breakfast? breakfast? They know. eat breakfast and then they're done for the day. Little old me, who loves to eat, has to starve right along with That's them. That's the problem. All we ate today was pastries along the these, day. These skinny people After are breakfast, always hungry. Judge the skinny folks if you want to. But the way my metabolism is set up, I need to eat like every two hours like a newborn baby. This, Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is our last day in Portugal and we have just checked out of our hotel. So it is about 7.25 and our flight is at 10.25. Airport is 18 minutes away. So off we go. Toodles. I just want to take a moment to shout out trip masters because we used them to book this trip and they really made the planning process really easy as i mentioned earlier they assisted us in doing one primary booking and then we used that booking number and provided it to everyone else so basically if you are traveling in multiple cities and multiple countries and you don't want to be bothered with doing all of the planning reach out to trip masters and let them handle your airport pickups flights hotels and everything in between they're the best 